What's up everyone, this is Zolot Talk is Tech, and today iOS 11.2.5 Beta 4 was released. Let's get started. So I do apologize for the late upload, but that aside, Apple just released a new beta update to the beta testers, and there are a few things I want to go over. So I'm going to go over battery performance, speed, and a few other things that are pretty interesting like glitches. So I gotta say, battery in this update has actually improved. So that is really good news because in the last update, it's improved as well. So I am really glad to see that Apple is finally focusing on the battery, and usually when they focus on the battery and performance type stuff, that's when you know that the final version is coming soon. So I'd say we gotta wait a few more betas and then the final version of this build will be released to the public. So battery life isn't amazing, but it's finally at a point in the beta stages where I'd say it's acceptable for daily use, at least on my device, or maybe I'm just used to the trash battery I've gotten in the past betas, but I'm finally glad to say that Apple has addressed this issue. I hope the issue has been fixed though with the wrong percentage readings. I think that might just be inaccurate battery calibration, which can be fixed. Now something I do want to mention is in the last update on beta 3, my phone had a serious problem with heating up. It was absolutely insane, so just be aware of that. But also in the last update, there was a keyboard bug where the volume was all the way up whenever you type something and that's actually been fixed. I thought that was going to be like a permanent thing, but it's been fixed in this update, which I'm really glad to see. Also, with the good comes the bad, so performance, battery, and all that stuff is good, except for the widget panel. The widget panel is still so laggy. On other iOS devices, it's not laggy at all on the public versions of iOS, so it's just this beta. I think it's because of all the dock glitches. But speaking of dock glitches, the one I found a while back still works on this update, which is absolutely insane, but I'll get into that a little bit later. So there's this wallpaper that I created that actually has these really weird effects on the labels. So you can see that all the labels are black, but when you slowly move it and then rapidly move it at the same time, you'll see that the text is like flickering. It looks kind of interesting. So it's kind of strange, but I hope Apple fixes it because it's not really a functional glitch and I don't really like the way it looks. It just looks kind of weird, but it's just so weird how a wallpaper can have that sort of effect on an iOS device. So going back to the dock glitch, I basically continuously tried over and over again for about like a full 10 minutes to get the glitch to work and finally it worked. So I think Apple tried to put an end to the glitch I found and the glitch is so hard to get now. I think they improved performance slightly in this area of the widget panel. The performance is still bad, but it's good enough to the point where this glitch is incredibly hard to activate. It's still possible because I did get it a few times. I had to do it about 10 to 15 times and it only lasted for about a second and then I had to do it like another 40 and it lasted forever. So it does work, it just takes time. So I did it over and over and over and over and over again and then it finally worked as you can see here. But I gotta say that this glitch I found is probably the longest lasting remove the dock bug ever on iOS. It's lasted throughout the whole beta stages and the beta before that, which would be iOS 11.2, which is just absolutely insane. So that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I got a bunch of really cool videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for that and as always, peace.